Today's date is the 10th of October 2023 and we will look at more graphs. Okay, we will look at more graphs. Thank you to everyone, okay, who have been watching the videos, who have subscribed. Thank you very much, okay. Um, if um, you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, share, like, and follow us, okay. You can like as much as um all the videos you can share okay i try to bring in uh new stuff every day okay at least monday to friday i try to get you stuff that will keep you thinking and that will help you if you are doing your gcse mass okay so please like them leave me some nice comments okay um thank you very much and then i normally write it in the comment section please follow my notes slash scripts this is very important okay because um like yesterday the video was longer than expected so um i asked you to go in um even though i I solved it. I showed it to you, but I asked you to go and check. Okay, so you should be able to check for yourself and convince yourself that what I've given you is the right one. Okay, don't just accept it because if a question comes from what I've given you, um you are not going to just memorize it and write it from word to word you want to understand the concept okay so that if something similar comes, you can solve it and get the full marks that is the point of this platform okay now beware of scammers please okay and then linking to that don't use somebody else's account without asking for the permission okay because in case something goes wrong they are going to be held responsible for that okay so if you are below the legal aid uh, age you can ask um, your parents to um, help you open an account okay and if you are using your friends or your parents or your guidance or auntie or a family member's account please it's very important ask them for their permission okay let them know that um you want to watch some of the videos to help you and um, with your mass work okay i think they will they will say yes um most of the time they will okay now uh recap yesterday we drew two linear graphs okay we've been we've talked a lot about linear graphs and we know how they look like okay if you haven't watched it watch the videos we've made on linear graphs okay and then these two linear graphs uh, there was an intersection on the graph and we found the intersection okay the intersection is where the two lines will meet okay so if one line is going to the north and one line is going to the south and you extend them where do they meet on the graph they gave us a range for the x value and we realized that there was a point that the two graph meets okay also the linear graph and um, the linear equations 
we solve them algebraically okay so after doing the graph work we went ahead normally in the exam you either do uh, it by algebra they will ask you to do by algebra and then or do a plot the graph and find the intersection okay so if they ask you to plot the graph plot the graph if they ask you to solve and find um x and y that is all it means okay you are finding a, a point of intersection so i showed you that that is what actually you are doing if you do it in algebra okay we explain that where the two lines meet is the x and y value um x and y solution which i've just said to you is solved algebraically so please it's very important go and watch um yesterday's video okay it will help you a lot okay now today's data okay i didn't want to bring it a lot because we have a lot to cover today okay so uh, for the values of y for the equation so we are finding the values of y for the equation y equals 7 minus 2x in the interval minus 4 to 4 okay so x is minus 4 to 4 okay some people find it difficult but the table format is straightforward and most of the time in the exam paper they will give you the table format okay so and then it organizes your work so for instance the, here is minus 4 x is minus 4 y is plus 15 okay so if you are able to learn how to do the table format then you can bring your coordinates together and quickly plot it on the graph okay in that way you don't mix you don't miss any of the x value so for instance if x is minus um, 3 minus 4 so y will be 7 minus 2 times minus 4 okay minus 2 minus 4 will give us 8 remember our work on integers okay that was one of the reasons why we did that so we need to apply the knowledge here and then so to cut simple short of where equation is 7 minus 2x okay so first of all i'm going to repeat all the seven okay now i'm going to find minus 2x and then add them together okay so seven here now minus 2x okay so i have minus 2 minus 4 is plus 8 minus 2 minus 3 is plus 6 minus 2 minus 2 is plus 4 minus 2 minus 1 is plus 2 minus 2 times 0 is 0 minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 minus 2 times 3 is minus 6 minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 now so i need 7 minus 2x okay so 7 minus 2x is 15 
so 7 minus 2s all this column here is minus 2s so I don't have to subtract again okay so 7 plus 8 is 15 7 plus 6 is 13 7 plus 4 is 11 7 plus 2 is 9 7 plus 0 is 7 7 minus 2 is 5 7 minus 4 is 3 7 minus 6 is 1 7 minus 8 is minus 1 okay so basically i've done this data so if i'm supposed to use this point to plot this line graph again this is a linear graph because we have minus 2x because of the minus we know we have a downward gradient a negative gradient so instead of the graph going up it's going to go down okay so i'm just throwing stuff here okay as you do more work most of the students in the higher group maybe by now they know but if you're in the foundation group as you do more math work you will get to know okay and then you realize that well i can do the higher paper and then you can swap as well now today okay so we've seen a curve on its own we've seen a line graph to intersection today we want to look at a curve and a line graph that means a quadratic a curve and a linear curve okay so we will draw a quadratic graph and a linear graph and solve it mathematically also as we did yesterday okay and i'll show you okay how to do that okay so here we examine we we'll let's examine um the linear graph okay so here x is the power one so that's a linear graph okay they might not tell you in the end uh, question so you might have to deduce that this will give me a line this equation is going to give me a line on a graph okay and a quadratic graph again you might not be told because of the s squared this will come out as a curve okay our curve is um the mathematical word for it is a parabola okay so and find the intersection in the intervals of minus four to four okay so now what i did is i did the table as we saw in the starter for the linear graph and the quadratic graph okay so uh, the interval for x is minus four to four for both graphs okay um so the x axis i'll have an interval of minus four to four but what about the y axis okay if i'm going to plot two graph i have to find i need to know um the lowest of the y value and the highest of the y value so that i can plot the axis of the y accordingly okay yesterday we had a lot to say so i couldn't say that but today i might be able to say that okay so let's look at the uh the table for y equals 2x plus 5. so again as we did in the starter okay x values is from minus 4 to 4. now 2x so we find 2x 
So when is x is minus 4 to x is minus 8? Okay. When x is minus 3, 2x is minus 6. When x is minus 2, 2x is minus 4. When x is minus 1, 2x is minus 2. When x is 0, 2x is 0. When x is 2, 2x is Okay, when x is 1, 2, x is 2. When x is 2, 2, x is 4. When x is um, 3, 2, x is 6. And when x is 4, 2, x is 8. And then plus 5. So we repeat plus 5 for all. Okay, so now each one. We can find our y value. So this is 2x. So here, that part here is 2x. And that part here is part plus 5. Okay, so we need those two. So 8 plus 5. Minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3. Minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1. Minus 4 plus 5 is 1. Minus 2 plus 5 is 3. 0 plus 5 is 5. Okay. 2 plus 5 is 7. 4 plus 5 is 9. 6 plus 5 is 11. 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay. So now, when x is minus 4, y will be minus 3. When x is minus 3, y will be minus 1. So I found all the x, x's are here and the y's are here. And then I've written the coordinates. So the coordinate of this graph that I'm going to plot is this one here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 coordinates, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, you have to be careful, as I always say, because if you plot it and you don't get a line, they have to go back because there's something wrong. You should definitely get a, li a line. So I'll rather, um, you use two or three extra minutes to be careful then rush through and not get a line and then go back and redo it okay at in school or at home it's okay but under exam condition you don't want to find yourself under that stress okay now y equals x squared plus 3x that is our second table here so again x i've repeated it here the interval is the same it doesn't change now x squared so when x is minus 4 x squared is 16 when x is minus 3 x all squared is 9 when x is minus 2, x all squared is 4. When x is minus 1, x all squared is 1. When x is 0, x all squared is 0. When x is 1, x all squared is 1. When x is 2, x all squared is 4. When x is 3, x all squared is 9. And when x is 4, x all squared is 16. Okay. Now, 3x. So 3 times minus 4 minus 12. 3 times minus 3 minus 9. 3 times 
minus 2 minus 6. 3 times minus 1 minus 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay. Now, we found x squared and 3x. So we put them together. So 16 minus 12 is 4. Okay. Remember, this is 3x. Okay. 9 plus 9 is 9 is 0. 4 plus minus 6 is minus 2. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. 0 at 0 is 0. 1 at 3 is 4. 4 at 6 is 10. 9 at 9 is 18. And 16 at 12 is 28. Okay. Now, we have to look at the y values of your linear table. Okay, the linear graph we are going to draw. It starts from minus 3 and ends at 13. The quadratic graph we are going to draw, there is a minus 2 and the highest of minus 28. Okay. So, after putting the coordinates down, okay, these are the coordinates, okay, I'm going to plot the axis such that the x-axis is the same for both, but the y-axis, I need um, to start somewhere from minus 5, because there's a minus 3 here, in the negative part. In the positive part, I'm going to end maybe around 30 because the highest value when x is 4, y will be 28. Okay. If I end at 18, I will cut this point off, but I've been asked to include it. So I have to be careful. I don't know why because I don't know what I'll, found, I'll find. Okay, but even if I don't find anything, that is what I've been asked to do, so I have to be careful. So for both tables, as I've explained to you, the lowest is minus 3 and the highest is 28. Okay, on the um, y values. So I'm going to use that to plot my graph. Okay, so now let's see what we did okay so this is my graph okay so you can see that on my first of all i give it a title a graph of y equals 2x plus 5 and y equals x squared plus 3x okay though so that is the linear graph and that is the quadratic graph okay now this is my y and this is my x okay so i know that x will start from minus 4 to positive 4. i've just left a bit on the side as i said yesterday to just see the character of where the graph will go but apart from that that is basically it now the y-axis um, there is a minus 3. Yeah, there is a minus 2 and there is a minus 1. So I'll start from minus 5. And then at the positive side, the highest is um, 28. So actually, I should be ending here. Okay, but... I've just put the 35 just in case. 
so if I use the coordinates this one here I found from the table these are the coordinates look at it very carefully so here you can pause okay so what did I do when x is minus 4 there okay y is minus 3 for my linear graph so first of all I use the coordinates to plot my linear graph so that's my linear graph here okay so you can use these coordinates here you can pause it and plot your own graph so you should get this line here y equals 2x plus 5. Now we know how to plot coordinates and we know how to plot the line graph. So I'm not going to repeat that here. Okay. And then we can also use these coordinates here to plot the quadratic graph. And also we know how a quadratic graph looks. So when I use those coordinates, this is what I got. I got a curve. Okay, my curve opens upwards because um, the x squared is positive, is greater than 1. So assuming I had a 3 minus x squared, because the minus uh, x is um, negative it will open downward okay so now these are the coordinates for the curve which you can plot because we've done a lot of graph plotting so you can pause here and plot so here that is how my curve will look now they intersect at two points this point here a and this point here b let me zoom in so that you see okay now if i look at this carefully my point a here is gets below minus three and then it's also negative here so it's like not point six because from here to here is five okay so it's not nearly one but minus two so mine is below three here so i've written minus 2.8 minus not 0.6 okay look at it again if you plot it maybe even on a graph okay but this is not to scale it's by eye judgment and you put the scale correctly you should get minus 2.8 for that point of intersection and then the second point of intersection now here um, is 1.6 because it's a little above 1.5 and then 8.2 so uh, between this is 5 half is 7.5 so it's either 8.1 or 8.2. So there. So the two point of intersection on the graph is 8.2. Now, remember your quadratic curve is called a parabola. That one, that word here. Okay. When A is greater than zero, like what we've done, the curve will open upwards okay and then when um, a is less than zero okay like you have three minus um, five minus x squared the curve is going to go downward okay tomorrow i'll break two graphs and we'll have a look at it okay now we found these two points on the parabola. I just wanted to show you how we solve it, okay? So solving algebraically, 
y equals 2x plus 5. That is our linear equation. We label it 1. Okay. y equals x squared plus 3x. That is the quadratic graph. We label it 2. Yesterday, we saw two linear graphs. Okay. Now, if y equals this 2x plus 5, and y is also equal x squared plus 3, then we can equal um, 2x plus 5 will be equal to x squared plus 3x. Okay. That's what I've done here. So now, x squared plus 3x, then I take 2x to the other side, which will become minus 2x. 5 to the other side, which will become five, minus 5, all equal to 0. If I simplify, we have x squared plus x minus 5 equals 0. This equation, we should be able to solve it, but I will sh use a couple of videos and status, okay, to explain how to solve this. A is 1 here, B is 1 here, and C is minus 5. Now, 1 times minus 5 is minus 5. We need two numbers. When um, you multiply together, you get minus 5. But when you add them, you get plus 1. And we can find any two numbers. Okay. So because of that, it will be difficult to solve this equation. But from this equation, A equals 1, B equals 1. 1 and c equals minus 5 okay so comparing the above equation is in this form so we use this quadratic formula s equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac okay this is a bit of higher stuff okay i will do a, a, some videos on this Okay, but today add it to your flashcard and we will do, um, we'll learn how to solve these equations. And then, if we can't solve it directly, we will use this formula. The more you use this formula, the more it sticks. Okay, I have learned it a long time and I still remember it. Okay, so now. A equals 1, B equals 1, C equals minus 5. So minus 1 there, because B is 1, plus or minus 1 squared, that is B all squared, minus 4. A is 1 again, and C is minus 5 from this equation. If we compare it to this formula, A is never equals to zero. Because if A is zero, this part is zero, then it's no longer a quadratic equation. Now, we need to simplify this. So we have minus one plus or minus the square root of one squared, which is one, 4 minus 4 times 1 is 4. It's minus 4 times minus 1 is 20. So we have 1 plus 20. Okay. So our answer will be minus 1 plus or minus 1 plus 20, which is the square root of 21. Okay. So we are going to get two values of x. Now, if you do the square root of 21 properly to one decimal place, you get 4.6. So, you have minus 1 plus 4.6 divided by 2 and minus 1 
minus 4.6 divided by 2. Okay. So here, you have x equals 1.6 and x equals 2.8. Now, the linear graph is simple. So, when x equals 1.6, we substitute it into a linear graph. So, 2 times 1.6 plus 5, okay, is 8.2. So, when x is 1.6, y equals 8.2. That is the first point. That is what we found on the graph here here on the B here 1.6 and 8.2 that is our B point here okay now the second part is when X is minus 2.8 Y will be 2 times minus 2.8 plus 5 so minus 5.6 plus 5, which would be minus 0 0.6. So when x is minus 2.8, y will be equal to minus 0 0.6. So that will be the second point here, b. Okay, so s is 2.8. And then minus 0 0.6. Okay. So on the graph, we found this two point. Even though it's not to scale, we've got the A and the B. And then algebraically, we solve for that point X is 1.6, Y is 8.2 x is minus 2.8 y is minus 0.6 okay so um this is another um stuff if you are struggling with the this kind of work okay guess watch the video several times it's like a film after watching it two three four times you will start saying ah okay i get it now okay that is the only way i can encourage you as i said put this formula here on your flashcard okay and i'm going to use uh, some videos to sh teach you or show you how to solve simple quadratic equation, equation and when you can solve it how to find your a b and c and use this formula to get it and after you've got your s value put it back into the equation and find your y okay but the main thing is i wanted to show you that you can have a line graph and a quadratic graph you can um, find a point of intersection um, graphically and you can also find it using algebra okay so um again today we've gone beyond our time but thank you very much um, for watching our video today and I'll see you in the next.